making a hard drive caddy for the T440S. Now, when I got this particular computer, it was missing its battery, the bottom left screw from the chassis, its memories, and of course, the hard drive caddy. Now, since you can buy the hard drive caddy and do this the easy way, but I'm not going to do it the easy way, am I? Instead, I'm going to go ahead and take apart the computer, take measurements of the hard drive and the caddy based on the pictures that I've seen of it, and then design it myself using FreeCAD. Now, I am going to, of course, give you guys the files so that you can just download them and print your own if you want to. And now that we're done, done with the measurements, we get this CAD picture, which we're then going to put from analog CAD into digital form that we can print. Now, here is the, the hole for the screw post, which is going to be the thing that actually holds the thing together. So now we have the screw post and the screw hole made. And now we need to make the sides. And to do that, we need to make some map. Now, once the sides are complete, then we only need to extrude the long parts, and we're pretty much done. Now we'll add some chamfering for easier printing, because the print head doesn't really want to turn in 90 degree angles. Then we'll go ahead and check in the slicing program that everything's fine and turn the thing upside down because the bigger hole was on the bottom and now it's on the top. Now, once we've printed the part, we can now test it. Here's our test part. And there were some problems. The hole was too small, so we're going to have to correct that. And then once we put it in, now it fits, but there's a bit of a problem. The long fins are not long enough and the, the screw hole is too small. So we'll go ahead and adjust those. The fins are already done now, and now the screw post and screw hole have been done. And let's just again add the side holes for the screws or whatever else is going to hold the hard drive itself in place. Now the screw post holes are done, we'll add some chamfering and print the second version. As you can see it turned out pretty nicely. Now if we test it we can see, well it's, it's not really that obvious in camera, but you can see that the, the holes line up with the screw holes that we made. And this is a bit of a tight fit, so we're going to need to put the hard drive first, and then we're going to fail the first attempt because it's too tight. And I put it the wrong way around in. But on the second try, when we get everything in, it's really tight, and I don't actually need any screws in that assembly, the hard drive is not coming out. So you'll first need to remove that thing in order to take the hard drive out. Well, yeah, thank you for watching, and I hope this has been informative for you. And the links for the files will be in the video description.